Hi, I've been working with the Avenza Map app and I'm going to give you a little tutorial on what I found. So what I've got here is my cell phone in the normal startup mode. And the first thing that we want to do is find the Avenza app. And because I'm using Android, my app is going to be found in the Google Play Store. So if I click on Google Play Store here, it goes over to Google Play. If I click on my little Avenza Maps, there we go. There's the map. Since I've already downloaded this, I can just click on open here and it brings up the first page of the Avenza Map app. Now you'll see you get a getting started on map section in this right off the bat and I've already imported my map location from Mike Hughes who sent me this in an email. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get, Mike will have to send you your map, I'll show you how to get that on the app, but before we do that, I'm going to go up to settings, a little, that area right there, and show you down at the bottom there is units of measurement. You'll want to make sure that you have the units of measurement set up the way you want it. In my case, I've got linear measurements set up in feet, area measurements set up in acres, and that's going to work out really well for me and probably for you too. Now we went just went backtrack to the maps, <clears throat> and up at the top of the maps there's a couple of uh, icons uh, if you're going to be shopping for maps with the Avenza store, you'll see that little shopping cart icon. Uh, if you want to set up an account, there's a little uh, uh, profile for to set up an account. If you want to search for maps, you can search. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, the little three dot over at the outside is settings, and that's the, probably the thing that you'll want to work from in this page. So I'm going to click on the Oh, did I, I didn't show you yet. To add to set up a map, you want to go down to the bottom and download or import a map. Now in my case, there's a number of different ways you can do it, but in my case I got my map from, uh, from Mike and downloaded it to my downloads uh, folder on my phone, so I'm going to just click from device storage there's my downloads area and there's my map. I'm not going to download it again since I already did that, but that's how to get it. Now, if I click on the map, I go directly to my location. And you'll see in this window, there are also a number of other things you can, uh, you can do. The, uh, the light green area or blue area up at the top uh, indicates uh, uh, what the map is, in my case WRUT underline, etc. Information about the map and if you want to search anything on the map, if it's a complicated one, use that. Below that in the black area, there's a section for compass which we won't use right now. Put this back here, my area. There's a section for placemarks, which will drop a placemark wherever you happen to have the little bullseye. So if you move the map over here where the bullseye is over here, and you go back and click placemarks, you've got a second placemark. Now we don't need those placemarks for this tutorial, so I'm going to touch the placemark label 
and just go up to the top and click the little trash can and get rid of the place mark. And I'll do the same thing for the other one. And we're back here. All right, next in line in the center of the black area is your uh, location. In my case, I've got it set up for latitude and longitude, but if you touch it, you can set it up in a number of different ways. I think for most of us, latitude and longitude is probably uh, the way to set it up, but you can check on that for what else you want to use for. The next area over there is map features. If I click on that, it brings up my map features. Now I've been fooling around with that and I have added uh, some layers in my map features for 2015, 2016 and so on and what I'm going to do is put in my uh, my uh, information for those areas or for those years in those sections. It would start right off with a line and place mark area layer and uh, uh, we won't work with that right now. If you see down at the bottom there, you have a number of different things you can do. You can add layers, you can export map features, or you can import map features, which will come in handy when we talk about sending things to Mike. So for right now, I'm going to go back to this area. And the last little section over there in the black is uh, the little wrench is tools. Tools are what we'll be using most here. If we click on that, you can see we have a number of different tools we can use. Draw and measure, record GPS tracks, find by coordinates, open view in Google Maps, and plot photos. For most of us, I think draw and measure is what we're going to be working with. Record GPS tracks works good if you're hiking and you want to keep track of the trail you're hiking on, uh, uh, note your, uh, the distance you're traveling, uh, the time, the, the elevation, all that stuff you can do in under record GPS tracks. We won't work with that today. Find coordinates, find by coordinates. If you have an area with you ha where you have longitude and latitude and you want to find those, uh, uh, that area on the map, you can put that information in and uh, a little uh, uh, um, bullseye will take you right to those coordinates. Let me refresh that. Open view in Google Maps, probably not too good for us because. But if you uh, if you were in the city and you wanted to find something like restaurants in the area you're looking at, you could open Google Maps and do all sorts of searches through Google Maps in the same area that you've uh, got on your. Avenza app. All you also plot photos. You can add photos here uh, instead of place marks. We we're not going to do that right now. We're going to stick with draw and measure. So I'm clicking on that. Now, in draw and measure, you'll see some little uh, tools down at the bottom. What we're going to do here, since we've already in draw and measure, we're going to move the map around to an area that we want to start. To uh, to keep to measure, and I'll just click the map. Then it starts a line. I can move it up to the next line. Click it, move it over, click it, move it down, click it, move it back over, and click it one more time. And you'll see down at the bottom, it's line. It's it's set up on line. And that means that what we did is just add a line. Now if I click on that line, I can turn it into an area, which is pretty much what I think we're going to want to be working with. It already measured that area for me. That happens to be 3.94 acres. So if I want to save that area, I just click the little checkbox there. The area is saved. Then I can click on the on the uh, label and I can change that information to anything I want. I can uh, I can go back get rid of that and let's call this 2015 work area. 
good. And then we can go down and we can add a description. Contour felling and planting. Okay, we could add a photo. In this case, we could actually, actually take a photo or we can pick a photo from uh, our gallery. I'll just pick a, uh, a photo from the gallery. We'll just take the first one there that I was playing with. That's added in now. Goes back. So we have our 2015 work area. We have 3.94 acres, a description of what we did in the photos. And I can put that in a, uh, in a particular folder. I can put it over here and say, let's put it in the 2015 folder. And I did that. And I can go back now. There's my 2015 work area with all the information in it. And it tells me everything I need to know about that. Now, if I wanted to send that on to Mike, I would go back to the Map Features area. I can click on Export Map Features. KML is probably the format you want to use because KML, the KML fo format will allow Mike to just take that information and plug it right into his copy of the, uh, of the uh, uh, app. So we'll call it KT, we'll say it's, the f name is uh, WRUT Tree Farm, uh, KML is the formation, we're going to email that. So we're exporting to email, and we'll click export. We're going to do it with Gmail. I can just put a name in here. I'll put Mike's name. It says all the information you want to do. Click up there to send it. I'm not going to send it because Mike's not going to care about our experiment here, but that's what we're doing. That's how to, uh, how to find the app, use the app to, to mark your measurements for your areas that you've worked on, and send that information to Mike. Okay? All done.